So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine. But only because I want to get this cash in on the road, not because I need to prove myself to you. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official, Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little swagger in her step after she looking at it early. And she gets the shoulders up. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. This is that suplex. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Uh-oh, this is just vicious arm stomp. She's fighting back. Oh, ouch. Quick thinking pays off. And Shotzi didn't see that coming. And Shotzi reverses it. See the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Fighting back by the counter. And now she delivers her back into the ring. And oh my god, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Shotzi with the retaliation. Stretch. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Cover. Two count. She gets the shoulder up. That is just pure instinct at this point. Shotzi able to avert that. Oh, reverse STO. Oh, oh, perfect kick. She was clearly waiting for that. She hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. And what we're seeing here, guys, is just a constant beatdown. Is this ever going to end? I hope not. 
Shotzi staggers up, struggling to regain any composure. Blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. And responds with a counter of their own. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. She gets to enjoy the payoff. Absolutely. You love to see someone's determination come to fruition like this. Happy now? See? I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash-in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order, and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst.
No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Raleigh, North Carolina, Carrie Palmer. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shazi. Byron, one of the most unique women superstars in history, but she has quickly grown in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. <laughs> and she had Shotzi's number there. And Shotzi reverses it. Uh-oh. And a suplex. She goes for the quick pin. And the kick out. She probably didn't expect it to put her away there, but she's put her on notice. Smash in their face. She's got her where she wants her. Watch out. Suicide dog to the outside. Cole does it better. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Down with force. <laughs> At the arm trap. Torn down with a lariat. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Has a bat now with the intent to make her opponent's head the baseball. Oh, no, not with the bat. Home run. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Saxton. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. Close to finish now. 
We're about to see how tough she really is. Great power. Crashing down. Samoan drop. And now thrown back into the ring. She's going under the ring now. The universal signal for it. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase.